So what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today is kind of unreal in the sense that as you can see by the title of a video, I'm getting another car and it's a car that's been around kind of in my life for a while. It hasn't been around recently. When I was younger, it was around. I always thought it was super, super cool. And now I'm getting it. So we're actually on our way right now. We're like 12 minutes away according to the GPS to picking up this car. So as you can tell by the video title, you already know what it is. But you might be a little surprised on what it is. So I'm very excited to get there and we'll be there really soon. <laughs> So we made it to where the car is. Unfortunately, it doesn't run. It's okay because we have AAA and AAA is very nice and they will tow it back to them to my house for no charge. It's no big deal, but I can show you the car. It's really needs a wash and needs a little bit of work, but here it is. My 1985 Toyota Supra. So like I said, this car is a 1985, so it is old. It has 219,000 miles on it, meaning it it's old, it really is. The car itself is in pretty decent condition. It has a few little rust spots and things like that, but at the end of the day, it's from 85, and you know. It's having a weird issue where it'll start up, it'll idle sort of, and then it'll cut, cut off, almost like it's not getting fuel. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's not that big a deal. Definitely gonna try to figure it out. But the car definitely just needs some overall, like, work and just clean up. Definitely a cool car. So a lot of you might be thinking, why would you get this car? Why in the world would you ever want this car? I mean, it's, you know, you don't see them. They're not very common. A lot of people don't even know they exist. The reason is, this was my grandfather's car. He had this car for forever, almost. And he drove it all the time. He picked me up in it when I was younger. He brought this car around when I was younger all the time. And so I really, really liked it. And I thought it was so cool. And I found out it was at this mechanic and it was getting worked on and it kept just kind of like getting run around and like, yeah, it's fixed. No, it's not. Yeah, it's fixed. No, it's not. So I talked to him. I'm like, you know, me and my dad could definitely fix this car. And so he's like, oh, okay. And so he, was nice enough and I can't even believe it. I'm so thankful that he is giving me this car because he knows that we will take care of it, that we will turn it around. We will make it look so nice and run so well. It's awesome, it's amazing. And I'm just so grateful and I'm just excited to have this car in my possession and be able to make it like it should be. Like super nice, it's super rare. It's just such a cool car. So did have to call AAA, like I said, they're on their way. And when we get it back to the house, I will update you guys. All right, so the Supra made it back to the house. All good, the guy with AAA was so nice. I mean, getting to where we are, like back here, is, is not particularly easy, especially in one of those trucks. He's actually backed it up this driveway, so. Good on him for that, but the car, the car is here. Here's the Supra. And I mean, I know when you hear Supra, this isn't the car that you think of, but I think it's so, so cool. And I, I really do think the issue is a lot easier than it appears. I think that it's gonna be an easier fix than, than what it seems like. But if you have any ideas on why it would start up, it would idle for a little bit, you can rev it and it'll stay alive and then it'll just it'll it'll just cut out. They said they put a new fuel pump in it and a new gas tank. So I'd imagine that's where the problem lies because it was running before then. It needed a new fuel tank cuz I guess the rust or something got into it. Man, it's so cool to have this car here. All right, so now the car's idling fine. So maybe it just I don't know, but I want to try to see if it'll move. I don't, I don't know. Come with, dude. 
Let's see if we get stranded, if we go around the block. Who knows? What a car. <laughs> All right, here, you wanna, you wanna hold that? Let her rip. It's pretty easy to drive. What's that? It's a drive by, uh, look at the, look at the speedometer. <laughs> Tell you what, this used to be a beast. Yeah, dude. N80 inline six. Oh my, it feels good though, dude. Oh my god, this man, let me see. The speedometer. Oh my gosh. But heck yeah, man. It's got almost a full tank of gas. Oh boy, howdy. Did you just let up? Or... Yeah, I let off the gas okay. a little bit. Heck yeah, baby. Supra. Just had moisture. Maybe, yeah, I just needed. All right. Where are the flip ups? That's, are they, no, what about? Well, that might be a flip up. No? But turn the lights on on that left thing. No. Right no? One more. There you go. No? Oh, there they go. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, baby. Well. Gotta put, a little hot, but... put the winder up. It's got this button too for releasing the key, which is really interesting. Oh, I know. Well, it probably had some crap in the system then. I think it. What is this condensation out there? Yeah, I had to run through it. Well, there she is. Nice triple eight, right? I'm kind of, yeah, I mean, well, you know, why risk it? No, it's a long ride for that car. Oh, I wouldn't be going 60 something, you know? I think you need to drive it before you get used Get a little used to it. Heck yeah, dude, check it out. Woo! We did it. Got the Supra. Oh. What a collection. Yeah. <laughs> Got that thing in there and now this. All right, so as you saw, my dad got home and I'm like, let me show you what it does when I start it up. And started it up, it was idling fine. And we're like, let's just take it around the block and it, it drives fine. Bet you it had, like he said, had some condensation in the fuel tank or something or somewhere on the system and it just would stall out because um, all they did was start it and let it idle and that's it. So started it, revved it a few times and it, you know, was staying at idle and we're like, heck, let's just drive it around the block. So we did and here it is, <laughs> it runs and dude, that's so cool. Oh man. So yeah, I guess the AAA tow was just convenient, I guess, because it was about 30 minutes away. But there it is. That's, oh man, it's so cool. But we added another car to the channel and I'm excited about it. So I don't really know how long this video is gonna be, probably pretty short, but it's just the unveil of the new Supra next to its brother, the Subaru. Boy, am I excited. So thank you guys so much for watching, as always. So excited to have a Supra in the family. It's gonna be so cool. Definitely gonna just try to clean it up, make it run a little better, just improve the car essentially. Um, probably try to fix the rust, try to just clean up the engine bay, make sure everything's running well. I mean, it seems to be running fine, but 219,000 miles is quite a few miles for a car, but it was my grandfather, so he did baby it. He wasn't trying to do anything with it. So I'm just so excited and grateful and just, I mean, I couldn't be more thankful to be able to carry on this car. And I mean, like I said, you know, he brought it around when I was a kid and like, I always thought it was so cool and everything he did, I'm like, why'd you do that? Like, why are you, you know, shifting? Like, I don't understand, you know, Go ahead, put it in third, like that kind of thing. I mean, it's crazy to think that it's mine, that I can keep it and have it and repair it and make it look better and just, oh, I'm, I'm just so grateful. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate just you clicking on the video. If you like what you saw, like the video. If you know anything about Supras or anything I should look out for, anything that's good to know for these cars, please comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you wanna see more Supra stuff and see this car in more videos, subscribe because I'm gonna be doing stuff to this car and boy am I excited. Thank you guys again and as always, have an awesome day.